It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute. Lupe Fiasco is back, y'all, with his new album, Samurai. Man, we're going to have to break this down. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit that sub button. Click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So it's available on all digital streaming platforms. Man, 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 man. I listened to this album three times already, and it's so much to pull back. So many layers. It's like a Rubik's Cube, and I have to keep, keep flipping through it, keep going through it because so many double flows, double entendres, triple entendres, so many hidden messages, hidden gems. Lupe, man, once again, is doing it. So, Anthony APB Perkin, Brian L. Brown, Kush Baby, Nicholas Isaiah, Soundtrack, and Trumaine Jordan are the producers on this album, but majority of the um, production is handled by Soundtrack. Everybody else is like co- Producers, you know, no features, eight tracks only. And this album is a dedication to Amy Winehouse. So he's actually rapping from her point of view as a battle rapper. So I was like, okay, that's pretty dope. So we're going to break every track down as far as a grading scale. So from Samurai, from one out of 10, Samurai is dope. That's an eight out of 10. I give that. Mama Rap. Fire, 8.5 out of 10. Cake is dope, 8 out of 10. Palaces is 9 out of 10 to me. Number one headband is an 8.5 out of 10. Bigfoot is super dope. That's more like an 8 out of 10. Outside, it's cool. It's probably more like the the least track I was feeling the most on the album. Maybe I have to hear it again some more times, but I can give that more like a 7 or a 6.5 out of 10. The wordplay is there, don't get me wrong, but um, Till Eternity, the last track, that's an 8.5 out of 10 to me. Now, when it comes to creativity, you know, as far as Lupe, you know, he's always bringing something that we want to hear, we want to see something different, something that, that, you know, that keeps us guessing. Lupe is more than just a, a, a good rapper. Lupe is a great lyricist. You know, he's been doing this before Kendrick and J. Cole was even on the scene, before they even got to where they at. Lupe has always been doing this. He's always had great themes for his albums, so on and so forth. But um, as far as creativity for this album, Samurai and everything else, I give that a nine. Actually rapping from the perspective or the point of view from Amy Whitehouse, that's actually dope. So I, I'm going to give him creativity for that. Um, lyricism. I'm going to give it between an 8.5 and a 9. He's he's always in the top. He's never disappointed, especially the things he's saying. He still has it, man. He still has it. He can get out there and psh, handle anybody, literally. Like, his craft is still there. He keeps it sharp. He's like a, um, he's like a you know, a boxer, like a Bernard Hopkins when he was fighting to get his title in his 40s and stuff, and he did it twice. First time against... Antonio Tarver, when he was 41, then he fought um, with a Gene Pascal when he was 48 years old to get a title again at light heavyweight. You know, people like that, like a Kobe Bryant, still got it. Like, hey, man, I can still compete with y'all. LeBron James, that's another person. Who else? Emmitt Smith was another player. You know, just people that can still compete at a high level and people overlook. So when it comes to production, the production is solid. I give it a 7.5 for production. But, um... Everything else, man, like I said, this is a really dope album. You know, people are going to sleep on it due to the fact that it, it doesn't have like a a song you can play in the club or radio, whatever. But it's not. I'm not looking for that. I'm looking for pure lyricism. I'm looking for pure hip hop. I'm looking for storytelling. I'm looking for, the, the you know, great creativity, something that new to hip hop as far as like bringing something that we haven't seen yet. And Lupe delivered. He delivers. So overall, this album, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. The only thing I didn't like about this album, like I said, it wasn't enough tracks. But like I said, I can give I love quality over quantity. So I will 
be happy with the quality of the album. But I wish it had maybe two more tracks. I would have been very satisfied, you know. But this is a dope album. Please do not sleep on it. Check it out when you get a chance. Um, if you listen to the album already, man, let me know what you think. Tell me your top three tracks you like on this album so far. And tell me some of the bars you like. Post your comments below. Post smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. You want to support, donate to the channel. I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.